Are we allowed to put this on YouTube? Uh, what? Hello and welcome to This Is. Let's see some Amazon reviews. I whip out this thing like it's cash money and flip it around like a $2 bill you've never seen before. I'm throwing everything in there. Towels, shirts, pants, my grandmother's bathrobe, my grandfather's ashes. I can sell this thing to a man without a torso. God bless. Thank you, boomers, for making mm. Amazon reviews a glorious opportunity for us all. So Kinsey has picked up a bunch of Amazon reviews, and we have to try and guess what they are based on just the review alone. We did this uh, a couple episodes ago. We did not do great. I won that competition. Of course I did, because Austin loses everything. I'm going to say that this is a... You're making a guess already? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say that this is a steamer and then this psychopath puts his grandpa uh yeah. grandpa's ashes in there you know i'm gonna say just to be contrary this is some kind of bag final answer all right so i'm gonna modify mine slightly oh too late it is a laundry folding board mm. i don't think either of us get points on this one but what? where are the ashes from what okay the ashes I think is just this guy being insane the people who leave these reviews are absolute psychopaths i think i get the most amount of points you get one this. point i get one point because i at least was talking about laundry i think my bag of some sort for for clothes is also worthy of one you point. never said clothes you just said bag yeah a bag to put obviously i at least clothes. said clothes matt gets three points you don't moving on the point. No, no 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 kenzie's the point master kenzie where, where you come down on this one yeah but i'm kenzie's boss i'm your boss so let's go to the next item all right the long con big tree time ha 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 it's about to be big tree time for my neighbor sean <laughs> <laughs> 125 people found this helpful. <laughs> Sean is about to get big treed. <laughs> uh, what? Are we allowed to put this on YouTube? Have <laughs> you experienced big tree time? <laughs> You're about to get big tree. <laughs> What's wrong oh, with no. neighbor Sean? Oh no. What's wrong with neighbor Sean? He doesn't deserve to be big treed. <laughs> I, I like I'm absolutely baffled by this one. I have no idea. <laughs> Fertilizer. I got not like I got, <laughs> what? what? No, no. What? A fake plant. That's all I got. I think this is a costume of some variety. Either it's Groot or it's like uh, camouflage, something like that. I'll lock in my wrong answer of some sort of ridiculous fake, fake plant, but I do think you're right. Tree seeds. <laughs> Tree seeds. I was close. Oh my. Wait, wait, wait. Is this guy really leaving Is he going to plant a, a <laughs> California giant redwood in Sean's backyard? Sean is going to regret this decision in two to 400 years. I think I could have gotten points if I stuck with manure or like fertilizer. Mm, yeah, but, but we I... We one point. One. Uh, I'm up 10 points today. Moving on to the next one. How long can I wear the product? For the wearing of blank, it would depend how much body perspiration you have. Mm -hmm. If you are normally a dry kind of person, the blank could last several days. If you're a waterfall kind of person, I would say a few minutes before the blank broke down and stuck <laughs> to your body. I don't ever want to be described as a normally dry kind of person. But I, but I also don't to... want to be described as a waterfall <laughs> kind of person. I feel like we're on a spectrum here. You got the Mojave over here. <laughs> No, and no, you got stop, Niagara stop, Falls stop, over stop, here. No. So here's the thing, right? It's going to be something lame. It's going to be like, it's some kind of okay. patch that you will put onto your body. That's my final answer. All right. These are temporary tattoos. And oh. I know this because for Halloween, I went as Post Malone and I could not get the damn tattoos off my body for like a week. I would not call myself a dry nor waterfall type of person, but those are- what you It's football cards. I'm offended by this. Kenzie played incredibly Kenzie. dirty on that one. You know, like what they say, don't go chasing waterfalls, but what we should chase is the next Amazon review. Please come back, Becky. Oh boy, this is a great start. Blank is true in every way, unlike my ex-wife. Although it does a superb job of whisking away the droplets of sweat that fall from head, it does little for the tears that fall from my face. If you're worried about the plushness of this product, fear not. It is perfect to lay down in the backseat of your 2003 GMC Yukon, which I'm currently living out of. What the f***? Kinsey, I specifically <laughs> asked you not to use my reviews. <laughs> How are we ever going to get this? This guy I, just has problems. This has nothing to do with the Amazon review. I think this is a callback to our first episode. Ooh, okay. And I think this is the same product that we were ripping tanks with. I hit an absolute tank in slow pitch softball with the boys wearing these. What? Do you ever rip tanks? Is that a thing we can do? 
<laughs> Kenzie, did you call back to an earlier episode? Maybe. Oh! Full points for Matt on that one. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yoga Matt. No! What? I was so confident. I didn't even take a guess on that one because I was so convinced that you were right. Kinsey, you done me dirty. I'm giving you two points because that was a really good answer. Also, I think it's my turn to read this one. No, no, no you read no, the I, one. No, this is my yeah. turn. My wife purchased this for Christmas thinking it was an Alexa. Even when she wrapped it, she didn't notice it was a blank. What bothers me most is I've shown her the exact model of blank. I wanted Santa Claus to bring me and it didn't look anything like oh, this. Oh God. Anyways, we decided to give this a try. This thing has saved our marriage. Please contact Becky after this. <laughs> I'm not gonna go where obviously everyone's heads at right now. This is some some shenanigans going on. I'm gonna think in a completely different direction. But what's something that looks like an Alexa that is innocuous and also saves marriages? I mean, like a Bluetooth speaker yep. would be like the, the obvious one. Saves most marriages, Bluetooth speakers. I know, I know it's not a Bluetooth speaker. It has to look like an Alexa. Here's the thing. I think Alexa is being used in the context right here the same way like, oh, every boomer calls a, any video game a Nintendo. I think it's a clock. I, I'm going to just say it's a clock or timekeeping device of some type. That's my that's my answer. I have no idea. <laughs> One of the censored words is buns. Well, you can't tell him that after I locked my answer in. <laughs> All right. I'm going to think what saved our marriage. Which was the toaster? The $500 toaster. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> I broke the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I call shenanigans, because not only is this my toaster, Matt got the hint after I locked my answer in. I still get the question. <laughs> Can I just ask who You're orders this? You're points for that weird laugh. What? Exactly. Excellent. I definitely I broke this chair, by the way. Yeah, you jumped up and down on it like an absolute maniac. Your wife, sir, may need to get her uh, eyes checked if you think that this is an Alexa and not a toaster. In my head cannon. Becky left mm -hmm. her first husband yep. for this new one. Who actually got her? Becky's a serial divorcer. This toaster has stopped Becky in her in her track of just divorcing everyone. The toaster is what's good and right in this world. Let's move on to the next item. Best prank ever. Why does Austin get all the pranks? I'm a fun guy. <laughs> okay. Placed it in the vent in my boss's office. After a couple days, he had a blank. Come in to check for the blank. A week later, he was going absolutely nuts. I started to feel bad, but then he came out and started to be a dick to a coworker. So I figured he gets another week of blank. They finally started to remove all the drop ceiling tiles to figure out what was blank. He recently switched to a different office. Guess what moved with him? That's right. His new office now has a new blank. There's no way There's this so much isn't that. just some sort of stink bomb. Can you just buy a, like a whole <laughs> mackerel? Just a whole, like just a fish from Amazon. I am going to say this is a little noise generator that's making annoying sounds. The mouse jiggler. No. And this is a sound. It's in a the sound vent. Thing. Yeah, yeah it's a sound vent. thing. Nope, yep, you're right, you're right. Oh, wow, what a horrible device. It won't stop beeping for three years. <laughs> that's messed up. Who puts that in an Amazon review? This is a serial killer device. This is terrible, but I think I get points on this one. All right, can we get a recap of the score? Because he did get full points. I'll fully admit he got full points I say that. it's probably like 5v5 right now. 5v5? No, right. I got 27 points before. You laughed funny and she removed them. And then you broke your chair and you got negative points. I am so sinking by the way <laughs> just fyi this chair is like legitimately broken okay is it harvested from free range whoa whoa whoa, whoa. hold on the gamers did not rise up for this one. Oh. there is no such thing as a free range gamer unless you're a mobile breed <laughs> But no one speaks of lesser creatures. This was harvested from the crusted Aww. keyboard of many a sweaty nerd or the silt-covered crevices of an Xbox Aww. controller. Man, I, don't I, uh, I don't like anything that I just saw. So it's obviously it's a gamer product. It's a, a non-slip thing for a controller or a keyboard. You think it's on the controller? Controller, mouse, keyboard. It's something to keep your hands from slipping. Is this like those finger condoms? Oh no. I'm going with finger condom. Okay. Gamer goo. Ge mm. Oh, that's- Austin was pretty close. Can we talk about how upsetting this name is? At least it smells like cherry blossom. Probably the best smelling thing that a gamer- I don't want to talk no, about don't gamer goo sentence, anymore. Please. I can say unequivocally that the experience was wonderful. I showed up at work and my boss immediately handed me a bottle of heated <laughs> milk. <laughs> First of all, we're doing work way, way wrong at this point. <laughs> at lunchtime, I crawled down the hallway until Roger from IT <laughs> gave me a toy race car I could zoom up and down the conference room. 
All day I heard people say, anyone know where the blank went? I don't see him anywhere. Little did they know that it wasn't an actual baby in the office, but it was me. I don't feel good. When I came to work the next day, everyone was talking about the giant baby that showed up to the office the next day before. I didn't tell them what happened. This is now our little secret. It gotta be a baby costume, right? Come on. I'm gonna get more specific with it. Okay, go for it. I'm gonna say it's that like super like hyper realistic baby mask. Uh, I'm so upset by this. I don't like I okay. All right. I just oh! <laughs> Debbie, why would you swaddle this? I want that photo to go away. Uh, what a great review, though. I want more reviews from Amazon written from the perspective of babies. This is your thumbnail, by the way. A very helpful way to find your balls. Sometimes it's very frustrating to find my balls. I know. Matt, is this? can you speak to this uh, personally I, from experience? I don't want to talk about giant babies and then finding your balls. Babies play with balls all the time? What are you talking about? There's all kinds of balls. You just need to experience more balls in your life. Balls. This is an impossible question, but I will say this is clearly not from Amazon. I detect gold duggery is what I detect. This is from Sharper Image. Mm. Oh, I, it's golf, I, golf, golf. Yeah. I'm gonna take a wild swing. Yep. I'm going for I'm going for good birdie. Point. I'm gonna say these are glow in the dark golf balls. Ooh, that's a very good uh, answer. I would say I agree. I'm gonna go with something to be a little different. I'm gonna say it's a golf ball that like makes noise or something but yeah, i think you're right i do think that would be more on par with sh hey that's <laughs> with sharper image all right let's see trying to find your balls so on you the links you guys are both close but not quite oh, oh. okay all right. okay golf ball finding glasses they're just blue glasses that tent out the green of grass and whatnot it's one of those things again we did this with sharper image you can go check out that video right here however this is one of those things that like it seems like a decent idea from uh, sharper image but it is again about 59.97 too expensive for what it is you threw us for a sand trap on that one i don't appreciate getting caught in the rough this was a water hazard all right after tallying up the score, I think I am the winner here. I think the viewers are the winner for this highly entertaining piece of content. Make sure to subscribe to This Is for Matt to cheat and Kenzie to throw lots of skullduggery our way. And if you enjoyed, then uh, you know what to do. Ring ling the ding ling button, check out some of our other videos. And until next time, we're going to go argue about who actually won this complete nonsense game.